the first step to any restoration is clean the chassis. I uh, use simple green and water, take all the grease off that I can. I also prepped an area that I can take the parts that I uh, take off the tractor and set them aside so they're not in my way. Here I put the tractor up on jack stands, front and rear, supporting the chassis so I can unbolt all the parts without moving it around. I took the seat off as one piece and the uh, wheelie bars and the rear weight bracket are all in one piece so I just unbolted that. Here's the business end where the sprockets and the chain uh, bring the power from the jack shaft down to the rear end and that just tensions the chain by moving the jack shaft left and right with the bolts. There's little spacers on the bolts. Here's the way the belt is tensioned. The jack shaft moves up and down as the white cast iron piece on top. And there's a lever that tilts forward and back. And it's sort of a cam. Here I've moved it forward, which moved the jack shaft upwards. And that makes the belt tight. When you pull it back, it pushes down on the casting. And it uh, makes contact. There's a aluminum pulley attached to the jack shaft that makes contact with the rubber puck on the engine. That makes it spin backwards. Here's an overview of what that looks like. Make sure that you mark any wires that you take off. They aren't necessarily the right color code. Here's the coil wire. So I'm going to get, do next is take the whole front end off, which is the blue pieces, the casting and the hood. But first I need to take the steering wheel and steering column off. It's easier to get them off as one piece. They're just two bolts that hold the column on. There's a pillow block underneath the hood. There's a set of gears that change the motion from uh, horizontal to vertical to steer the front wheel. Here's the steering column that comes right out. There's nothing else holding it in. To get the front casting off, there's only two bolts that hold it on. Here I've removed the battery, so that comes off with it. And I just slid the front end off. Some are harder to get off than others. This has been off before. So inside the, the front cast iron casting where the frame rails go through, you can see they're just two machine surfaces. This is going to be important when you reassemble it. Here I'm ready to take the jack shaft off and the, uh, the shield for the belt. A couple of bolts are rusty on there and the socket head cap screws. I like to use all the same type of uh, hex bolts. So I'll replace those. Here you can see a lot of stress was on the support for the jack shaft because the paint peeled off of it. I'll check that close. Here I've taken the jack, jack shaft off and the engine will come right out next with four bolts. So like I said, the chassis is just the focus of the attention. I'll leave the engine to another day. Here's another closer view of the way the jack shaft adjustment is made for the belt tension. And finally take all your parts and wash them off in a uh, parts washer.